guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl styles as always if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome 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 today we're going to talk about um, the workplace things to do to make your working experience beautiful I would like to use the word beautiful because a lot of people have ugly working experiences and most of these things are as a result of how they react to what people throw at them or react to the workplace or react to the kind of work they do so i feel that you are responsible for your own happiness and you have to you know take up your own um take up responsibility for what happens to you and how you react so first i'll say be glad you're there you know a lot of people work in places they don't want to or maybe they've been stuck in a position for long they've not been promoted or they feel they deserve to be in better organizations but i feel there was a time you prayed to be where you are there was a time you prayed for that position so finding yourself there is not a mistake it might be a delayed um a, a post that has been delayed but just be glad you're there you know let it reflect in your work don't have you know discussion with people like regretting why you're here why am i still here you know don't let it be the order of the day i know a lot of people that are nag 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 about these things but be present don't let people feel your absence while you're still present hmm. word <laughs> don't let people feel your absence while you're still present so do your work you know do it diligently that's exactly what um, exact word i want to use that's tip number one tip number two avoid making repeated errors like there's nothing like learning from your mistakes if people see that you make the same errors consistently it's not a good look to be honest people will be scared to give you more responsibilities because they feel like you're going to um not achieve a lot with it so avoid making repeated errors learn from your mistakes and take criticisms lightly don't when someone criticizes you and you know there are different forms of criticism some bosses can cannot might not be you know pleasant when they're telling you things you did wrong while some would call you to order you know that's the nice bosses well there are some that are so you know they want they, 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 they're not happy with you and they, they will shout at you and ask you why did you do this this way you know sit back you know look at the things sometimes you can defend yourself if it's something that was out of your control you know but if it's something that you know if you if you sit down very well and look at it if it's your own mistake take it in and learn from it you know i've learned from my mistakes a lot and it has helped me where i feel that i could have done better i change you know where i feel like oh this person did not judge this matter correctly i don't have to i would just take it in and i would because it's not on the person now it's on me if I feel bad about it, it reflects in my mood. So there is no point, <laughs> to be honest. There is no point. There was a boss I worked with that was asking me, why do I smile a lot even when I'm being corrected? I'm like, what do I have to do? Do I have to cry? Like, I'm the least person that would cry when I'm being yelled at, when I'm being criticized. I don't know. I don't just have it in me. So I think everybody should actually <laughs> emulate that. It will help you, to be honest. Then... um. When you're given a an opportunity at work or when you're given a challenge or a new task even if it's outside your scope even if it's outside your work area do not turn it down down so people feel like ah, this is too much work you know i i have been i have done uh, some things that are outside my scope you know i have paid salaries i have recruited people i have um worked with it i have done design i have done powerpoint presentation for superiors so these are things that are outside my 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 day-to-day -day work but i learn from these things these are not things that i intentionally would walk up to ask them please i want this work to be given to me but these are things that they feel like oh maybe they see a capacity in me and they ask me to do it so when i'm presented such a situation i learn from it because I'm learning on the job. Sometimes it even excuses me from my core functions, you know. So I like to take up more responsibilities. And sometimes it, taking up, having a can-do spirit and taking up responsibilities is actually different from being a yes man, to be honest. Sometimes I might have a pile of work, and, and it's, it's, especially when you have more than one boss, one will now come and give you another work. It will actually affect you if, you if there are deadlines and timelines to these things that are almost... Um, within the same period so table it out 
let them know oh you give me this you give me this which one do you want me to do first which one should i prioritize so that not when you fail to submit one you are now the bad guy so yes take up responsibilities but being a yes man to everything when you know that there's a lot on your plates mm -mm, that's not what i'm talking about i would also say um have a positive attitude to work like everybody comes to work with this fixed smile and all that so <laughs> you know there's this popular um trend on twitter i think sometime last week that people were snapping their current status at work you know and showing i'm glad to be at work with funny you know images don't do that don't don't do that you know don't do that i tend to always find joy in every job i have done <laughs> i've not i've not found a place where i i did marketing for five years a lot of people complain marketing is stressful marketing is this marketing is that i had my ups and i had my lows but i never let it get to me like i always had this person why you know so some people backbite their bosses and still go ahead and play good to their bosses while some people do um nice things to their bosses for favors like people that are earning um, that, that are targeting promotions and all that it's not nice it doesn't tell good on your character because imagine you being the boss and someone doing that to you like it's not a genuine relationship you're just doing it because of the job what if i'm if you're my boss and i have a good relationship with you trust me i like you as a person but if i'm just giving you that mutual respect and we're doing the work we're doing the work i don't have to suck up to you because um i want something from you or no if i like you i like you if i don't want to have that interpersonal relationship with you we will have interwork relationship and i feel that is good enough we don't have to be best of friends in the office right so but a lot of people do that and it's, sometimes i see it and it's sickening to me and i think they do it for favors really you know they do it for favors and it's 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 really not nice in the workplace because people know people see it and people know right people see that people know i also like to talk about forming busy hmm. a lot of people do this <laughs> there was a time i was guilty of this and when i was guilty of this was when my um boss comes to the office immediately steps into the office um maybe i was maybe a little bit relaxed checking a text on my phone you know but when it comes to the office i'll just drop it and face the screen that one is a little different some people do it to the point that a mail that does not concern your boss or a mail that you can send without the recipient's boss even saying people intend to start you know just to make it feel like you're doing something you're not just idle let people see that there is um <laughs> i don't know how to explain it to people but for me busy is the term you know for me busy Some people leave so late at the office i understand if you're going to lagos leaving late leaving late is understandable because you want to um wait out the traffic coming early is understandable because you want to come before the traffic but some people that are not even living in traffic um targeted areas or some people that are just doing it because they want people to see that they're active it's uh it's the person you know it's the person then i'll also say do not use condescending tone to your subordinates ah uh, I don't think there's anybody I've worked with that I've ever talked to. I don't think so. I doubt. So using condescending words to people brings down their morale, makes you look bad, makes the person feel you're a snob. <laughs> you know, there's nobody that wants to be talked down on. There is nobody. You can pass a message across without using words like imbecile, using words like, you get it a lot in the bank, and that's just the truth. You get that a lot we get that a lot not you get that we we get that a lot in the bank you know calling someone an imbecile even to the fuck uh, to the point of bringing in the parents family maybe um, you, your mother did not train you well or this is a workplace i believe in foreign lands they don't speak to their people like that so i don't know why it's um predominant in nigeria especially in nigerian banks you know when i talk to my fellow banker friends and they tell me what goes on in their npr meeting how some people even um, as much as yell across tables you know <laughs> so <laughs> it is well so i would also lastly i would say pray 
people think that when I come to the office, I say a word of prayer over my work for today. And before I go home, I just say a word of prayer silently. Sometimes when I go to the restroom, I just say a word of prayer. God bless my day. Um, bless all my um, to-dos. Grant me the ability to accomplish my goals. You know, just a soft prayer. A soft prayer can go a long way. Before you even, if you have a need to request something from your boss, if you have a need to uh, maybe seek for permission, even from your boss, say a word of prayer about it. You know, some bosses don't like granting permission. Like, ah, you need to work for your pay. You know, so... You can just say a word of prayer before you talk to your boss and you can imagine what will happen. Then lastly, um, something just came to my mind. Avoid taking a lot of permissions. So people abuse it, especially when they have nice bosses like, Ma, please, I want to go and pick up something today. Please, I want to do this. Please, I want to do that. I only take permissions when it's necessary, you know, or when it's health related. So apart from that, there's no point. You're being paid to work. D devote your hours to work i make youtube videos after my close time like you cannot see me doing a youtube video during working hours you can see me maybe on social media once in a while so just check in or maybe comment on it, something or but i d anything you see me post on social media maybe a video or or a tiktok video is always after closing time like after i've finished my work for the day maybe i'm waiting out traffic you know i'll just instead of just sitting down and doing nothing I pick up my phone and do something creative so I don't abuse the work hours no I don't so because I, I see myself as an employer one day you know imagine me as an employer and my employee is using time allocated to do my work to do something else I will feel bad you know so there's a term for it there's a term for all of these things I want to talk about it's called work perennial like we can all be entrepreneurs yes i'm an entrepreneur because i have a gaming business on the side but i'm also a workpreneur i'm also working for someone and being diligent about that work you know because the person is paying me for it it's modern day <laughs> it's modern day slavery you know back then you work for the whites the black man worked for the whites and he's being paid his wages you know but now you're not working for the whites you're working for your fellow african but you're being paid wages to you, your time and everything is uh -huh, so it's still <laughs> more than this slavery in a way but find joy in your place of work that's just the summary of it all you know do not let your situation weigh you down do not let your current situation weigh you down because you never can tell what's going to happen tomorrow Dagonte was not where he was 20 years ago you know or Tedala was not where he was 20 years ago or Tedala was working was doing white collar so from many many years ago before he became who he is today so who knows you can also be the next autodola so be diligent in your work basically thanks for tuning in see you in the next one i mean stealth